The search is on this afternoon for the person who killed a 30 year old Chicago woman found strangled to death in her garage. It was not the first time she had been the victim of violence. In fact, she talked with us about it just a month ago. CBS 2's Mercer Perlman has the latest on that investigation. Family is reporting this young woman just turned 30 about a few days ago, and we now know it was her own mother who discovered her body in her garage just feet from her home. This is 30-year-old Sierra Jamison, who police say was found unresponsive on Monday on Indiana and 78th in the Greater Grand Crossing neighborhood. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office says she died from strangulation. Family sharing with us, Jamison was a mom to a young boy just six years old. Now, in a rare coincidence, CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker interviewed her just last month. They spoke about violence against black women in our community. She was a recent victim of a carjacking and shared how other women came to help her in that violent moment. And my Jeep, my Wrangler, that was something for a gift for myself because I know how hard I work for it. I know how many sacrifices I've done for my family, my son, because he's been through a lot. My son had open eye surgery. He has a disability, so he means a lot to me. And I'm not finna let this young man with a knife at that take anything I work hard away from me. Police wouldn't confirm whether there is a person of interest, but right now no one is in custody connected to Jameson's death. We do know family is preparing a memorial service in honor of her that's set for this evening at 6.30. Reporting outside of CPD headquarters, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Now we want to bring in CBS 2 investigator Dorothy Tucker, who, as you heard, interviewed this woman just one month ago. Dorothy, you first reached out to Sierra Jameson because you were specifically looking for black women who had been victims of violence, violence, I crime. Mean, Erica, talk about an irony here. Right. You know, working on a story about black women being the number one victims of so many crimes. And because of that, um, I reached out to Sierra and asked would she share her story because she was the victim of an attempted carjacking. Right. And I got to tell you, I felt like she was so strong, willing to share her story. That takes a lot to say, I'm going to go on television and tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. And when I met this woman, what I really felt was that she was somebody who was so convicted, so you know, in her resolve to protect what she worked so hard for. Right. You know, her young I mean, son. She her mentioned. Young son, you know, six years old. Um, she's she's a, a beautiful, beautiful young woman. When you watched us replay that clip of you speaking with her, you were shaking your head. So, what are some of the reflections that you've been feeling? You know, I found out about this yesterday. Uh, you know, like so many other people, mm -hmm. and I, I'm numb. Sure. You know, I have to admit, I'm just numb. This has never happened to me before. I've never had a story where I've interviewed somebody and then, you know, a month or so later, they, they're, they're dead, you know? Uh, and, and I know you say, I, I talked to her that one time, but I actually talked to her a few times because oh, leading when, up. when you get ready to yes. set up a story, yes. you, know, you have to develop a relationship with that person because, you know, I'm asking her to do something that is really outside of her character and you have to convince them that they have to get trust for you, you know, so we had created just a, a little bit of a bond mm -hmm. that said, I hear you, you know, and she wanted to be able to say, let me tell people what it's like to be a black woman right. today and fearful so many times. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, you're talking about a story where you're talking about somebody who is a victim of crime and then something like this happens. If this is not the ultimate right. of what we're talking about and the importance of us doing the story mm -hmm. to talk about what happens to black women, yeah. you know, this, this is it. This yeah. is the example. And now this young boy without his mother. Without so, his mother, yeah. Well, thank you, Dorothy, for your insight okay, you on this. you got to watch for the story. We're going to be, you know, it would be airing very soon. Good. Thank, thank you for you. your reflections. We appreciate that very much.